everyone, it's Ya. Today, I'm gonna be trying something pretty similar to what I tried last time. Today, I'm gonna be trying this instant hot pot for fish with pickled vegetables. It's a different brand from the brand that I tried last time. The package is very similar to the hot pots I tried last time. I wonder how it's gonna taste this time. I wonder if it's gonna have real fish like the other one that had real beef in it last time. Alright, so I'm gonna open this and see what's inside. Ooh. Oh, the cooking instructions on the back. Basically, open everything, unpack everything, put it in the package, and then add water, and then put the heating packet in there, close it up, and wait for it to warm up. Yeah. Fish package. It's really light. There's really no weight to it. It might be like dehydrated fish. I'm assuming this is the seasoning pack. This is probably gonna be like sweet and sour since it says pickled vegetables. Um, and then there's a container. A spoon. The extended chopsticks that you could put together. I like the spoon. It's cool. I think I'll keep it. And they have vermicelli noodles. Like the ones I tried last time, it also came with um, these noodles. This is a vegetable package. So this is where all the pickled vegetables are, I guess. Heating packet. And that's it. Alright, let's get started. I'm gonna start by putting the noodles at the very bottom. Fish. Hmm. It doesn't really smell like fish. They don't look like fish at all. They look like chips. It's dehydrated. And it doesn't have um it doesn't really have a smell. I'm gonna open up the pickled vegetables. The vegetable package. Oh no. I spilled some. I think they are similar to the vegetables I had from the other hot pots. I think there's bean sprouts in it. it smells really good. It kind of smells like wonton noodle soup. I am going to add in this seasoning. It smells like this Chinese pickled vegetable. I don't know what's called in English. I'll see if I can find an image of it. Okay, so that's everything. I have to see how much water do I add. So for this hot pot, I have to add the heating packet in first and then add water. So here's the heating packet. Add water to the water line. Add water in here. I'm gonna put this in here. Close it up and wait. I'm starting to hear that bubbling sound. Wow. You see the steam? Can you see the steam on camera? This one's pretty loud. It's louder than the ones I had from last time. I'm gonna put the chopsticks together. Basically, it's just one half and the other half, they snap together once you push it. These chopsticks don't um, feel as sturdy as the ones I had from the other hot pot. It's getting hot. There's still a little bit of steam coming up. I like the spoon though. It's cuter than the spoon from the other self-heating hot pot. It's also very thin, the plastic. The boiling sound just stopped. I think it's ready. Ooh, it's hot. It smells sour. So these are the bean sprouts, black fungus, lotus roots. I'm gonna try some of the soup and see how it tastes. Mm. It's a bit spicy. It's like a sour and spicy soup, but there's more sourness than spiciness. It's like a hint of spicy. When I drink the soup, first it tastes sour, and then it has like a spicy aftertaste. I think there might be um, some kind of spicy oil. Oh, and there's also um, these little mushrooms, I forgot what they're called, um, in the veggie packet. I'm going to try the fish. Hmm. This is interesting. The fish kind of has this like 
styrofoamy texture. <laughs> oh, it's getting spicy. <clears throat> I didn't know this was gonna be spicy. <coughs> the packet doesn't say it was spicy, but it's spicy. The fish doesn't taste like real fish. I wonder if it's made from like fish uh, flavor or something. I wonder if it's like a flower with fish flavor. But it doesn't taste like real fish. It's not bad. It's salty and it has a styrofoamy texture. <laughs> The texture is kind of like soggy fries, kind of almost like if you took a piece of fish and you fried it and then you dipped it in soup, it kind of tastes like that, like soggy fried something. Soggy fried styrofoam. <laughs> it gets spicier the more I eat it. I didn't think this would be spicy because it says pickled. It didn't say anything about it being spicy. I feel like I been scammed. Here are the noodles. I got some bean sprouts with the noodles. I feel like I always like the noodles the most for these hot pots. It's like the noodles are the best part for me. I like the flavor of the soup if it wasn't spicy. I like the flavor of it, but the spicy aftertaste, I don't really like that. The fish isn't bad, but if you don't tell me that it's fish, I don't think I would know that it's fish. The lotus roots are very crunchy. Very good. This would be really good if it didn't have that spiciness to it. I don't think I'll be able to finish it all in one sitting because the more I eat it, the spicier it gets. So I have to, um, so I have to eat a bit and then drink some water and then like chill for a bit and then go back to it. Overall, this isn't bad. I just don't like the spiciness of it. The flavor is very good. It's like a sour soup. I just wish they had put in the packet that it was also a bit spicy, but they didn't. So I wasn't expecting the spiciness. <clears throat> I'm just gonna have to like slowly eat this. Overall, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I like the sourness of the soup. It's not very sour. It's just it just has like a hint of sour in it, but. I do not like the spicy aftertaste. I think it has to do with um, some oil that's also in the ingredients. Um, I would just wish they had like put it in the packet that it says it's spicy, but it didn't say it was spicy. So I, I was not expecting it to be spicy. Um, <clears throat> it says fish filet with pickled soup. Nowhere does it say that it's spicy. So. For those of you who wants to try it and cannot eat spicy, be careful. The fish doesn't really taste like actual fish. If no one told me that it was fish, I wouldn't be able to guess that it was fish. It's not like the fish tastes bad. It's still good. It just doesn't taste like fish. It tastes like a um, cracker that's been soaked in soup. That's what it tastes like. And it has like a styrofoamy texture. So that's it for today's video of Ya yeah, Tries Random Stuff. My camera just fell. <sighs> so that's it for today's video. Please uh, like and subscribe and leave me a comment if you like. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.